Hello, my name is Rahul. Today I am going to show you how to create an app that can render clock like this. Okay, it is. I am going to use Xcode 7.1.1, Mac OS X 10.10.5, Cocoa Framework and Programming Language Objective-C. Close this app. Open Xcode. Create new Xcode project. Next. Clock app demo. Next. Create. Go over here, delete this view. Now create custom view, search NS view, drag in custom view in the con view controller, create a new Cocoa class, clock view of subclass. NS view, then next create. Okay, now go back to main storyboard, S select custom view, go to ins identity inspector, enter in clock view. Okay, now go to clock view implementation. Before we code clock, we need to test our custom view. To do that, I am going to draw a circle. N S rectangle is equal to N S make rectangle 0, 0, 4, 20. Then 20. Okay. Now NS Bezier path pointer path is equal to NS Bezier path Bezier path with oval in rectangle. That is rectangle. Okay. Now NS color color with calibration red. That is zero point thirty seven. Green is zero point three four zero point four one and the alpha is one point zero. Okay, then set. Okay, now path fill. Now run this. Will succeed. Okay. Now if we resize. Okay. It not resizing with the window. We need to handle the resize. Okay. Close the app. Now override view did move to window why view did move to window ok then ns notifier 
एप्लीकेशन सेंटर डिफॉल्ट सेंटर ओके नाउ एड ऑब्जर्वर दैट इज सेल्फ सिलेक्टर इज एट द रेट सिलेक्टर दैट इज विंडो डेड रिसाइज ओके विद नेम एन एस विंडो डिड रिसाइज notification that one okay now id is self window okay now create handler that is window did resize copy here paste here okay ns notification pointer notification okay now we resize view with window resize n s rectangle win rect is equal to self window frame okay n s rectangle content pane is equal to self window content rectangle from frame rectangle that is um, our wind rectangle okay now ns rectangle our view rectangle is equal to ns make rectangle okay 0.0 0.0 that is content pin dot size dot width content pin dot size dot height okay now set this size to frame okay self set frame that is our view rectangle okay self set knee display that is true run it okay now resize it okay it is the view resizing with window resize okay close it go to header file clockview.h define a function rotate point with arguments point array that is pt rotate by and i rotate 
विद एंगल इंट आई एंगल ओके कॉपी दिस गो टू इंप्लीमेंटेशन पेस्ट ओवर हियर now we are going to define a logic to rotate points okay that is for int i is equal to 0 i is less than i rotate i plus plus okay point bracket i dot h multiply by cos that is 2 multiply by pi multiply by i angle divide by 360 plus point bracket i dot v multiply by sin sin of 2 multiply by pi multiply by angle i angle divide by 360 okay we need to define a variable point variable to hold the temporary values okay here it is point pt temp okay now pt temp is the dot h is equal to this okay now copy this paste over here okay copy paste over here change it to v that is v and that is h okay now we need to convert it into int that is like this int int okay now pt bracket i is equal to pt temp now go to header file define two function draw clock draw hands with ns date components pointer current time okay time change it is a flag so it will be are going to use bool that is is change spelling okay okay copy this go to implementation paste over here okay now we are going to define draw clock function okay make some space over here define a point array of length 2 okay now define a loop for for this is for angle int i is equal to 0 i is less than 
360 now we need to divide it into 60 minutes so i plus is equal to 6 ok now point bracket 0 is equal to 0 that is dot h is equal to 0 point 0 dot v is equal to 150 that is the radius ok now self rotate point that is pt rotate by 1 and angle is i ok now we need to calculate the second point point bracket 1 dot h is equal to point bracket 1 dot v is equal to i modulus 5 question mark 5 is to 10 ok if i is i mod 5 is equal to 0 then 5 else 10 ok now point 0 dot h is equal to point bracket 1 dot h divided by 2 that is going to be subtracted from the point ok then point bracket 0 dot v minus is equal to point bracket 1 dot v by 2 ok now copy cut and cut it and paste here ok change it to pt bracket 0 dot h pt bracket 0 dot v pt bracket 1 dot dot v that is h pt bracket 1 dot v ok now self draw clock ok run it it's not good ok we need to check for error that is 0 ok now run it ok now we need to move origin from the left left bottom to center ok to do that we need to use ns affin transform pointer trans is equal to ns affin transform that is transform ok trans rotate no translate by x by ok dirty rectangle dot size dot width divide by 2 dirty dot size dot height divide by 2 trans concat ok now move this clock cut and paste here ok run this stop ok it is size with window size and it is circle and our origin is in the center of this circle ok close this 
now we are going to define clock hands draw hand function okay we are going to define a point array with um, two coordinates okay point there are three hands so three with two coordinates per hand okay is equal to this is okay 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 120 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 140 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 140 okay that is your hour that is your minute that is your second okay now make it static Now define a variable angle int i angle of length 3 as we have 3 hands in the clock. Okay. Now point temporary point point temp. Okay. That is 3 comma 2. Okay i angle okay bracket 0 that is our our hand angle it is going to be current time copy this it give me problem over this dot hour okay multiply by 30 okay whole modulus 30 360 plus current time dot minute divide by 2 whole convert into int okay i angle bracket 1 that is our minute that is current dot minute multiply by 6 okay i angle bracket 2 is equal to current time dot second multiply by 6 okay convert it into int that is whole okay now memory copy Okay, that is PT temp PT. Okay, size of PT. All right, now for int i is equal to zero i is less than 3 because we have 3 hands i plus plus ok now we are going to use this if there is a change then it will go ahead ok i is equal to change ok if there is change then 0 and 2 ok it starts from 0 either 0 or 2 okay if there is a change 
then it is zero else it will update two on the seconds okay now the statement is self rotate point that is temporary point pt temp okay i rotate by 2 okay and the angle is i angle bracket i okay now ns bizarre path line draw line draw line is equal to ns size path bezier path okay now draw line move to point ns make point that is pd temp bracket i bracket 0 ok p ok dot h pd temp bracket i bracket 0 dot v ok here it is it is it moved to the point ok now over here there is ok line to point ok and let's find this then now we pass 1 over here we pass 1 ok now draw line set line width that is 2 ok now draw line stroke ok ok now we need to define a timer to update ticks and seconds ok on tick ok go to header curly bracket over here ok ns timer pointer t ok define a flag bool flag is equal to true ok go to implementation ok go to dirty direct dirty draw dirty rectangle if flag is equal to true ok then t is equal to ns timer now schedule the timer interval ok over here of 1 second 1.0 uh, target is self ok selector is at the rate selector let on tick ok user nil repeat ok true ok we are going to remove this ok now add this now make the flag false ok so it will not fire again ok now we need to define that tick function copy wide that is tick ok 
now we are going to define on tick function okay n s date okay pointer now is equal to n s date that is date okay now n s calendar calendar pointer is equal to ns calendar that is current calendar okay now calendar that is component okay now the component r ns calendar unit hour or ns calendar unit minute ns calendar unit is second okay from date that is now okay now we need to define a variable that is going to check the change okay over here that is bool change okay now go over here where is our okay now change is equal to okay we need to define one more thing that is a ns date component variable go to header okay ns date components current components okay and the previous components ns date components previous components okay now go to what it saying okay you need to make it pointer okay now go to implementation on tick save it over here current component is equal to this okay now current component dot hour is not equal to previous component dot hour okay or current component dot minute that one not equal to previous component dot minute okay now ns color white color okay set stroke okay now self draw hands draw hands now the time is current time current time component and the change is change okay time change okay now another define another ns color that is red color now set stroke self draw hands 
current component that is true okay now previous component save now previous will save the instance of current so during paint in this uh, draw rectangle it going to use previous component and latest will be used in on tick okay now self set need display true okay now go to draw rectangle of view okay ns color red color set stroke okay now self draw hands previous component okay it is true now run app okay okay it's running opposite anti clockwise rotation is wrong close it okay that is minus okay now run it okay now we need to change its orientation it's wrong okay to change orientation you need to go here trans okay rotate by degree 90 okay now run okay 2 over 39 minute okay resize it it resizing with time okay if you like this video please comment subscribe and share with your friend you are free to share with anyone please subscribe thank you